What's up you guys, it's just I Hiller here, Heather, and I am here to give you guys the shadow work video. This is basically just like an introduction, um, basically just give you like an overall understanding as to what shadow work is, what it entails, the benefits of it, and all that good stuff. Um, I do want to recap the last two videos that I made. If you guys have not seen them yet, I strongly encourage you to check them out. Um, the Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. And the second video is the seven stages of spiritual development. And I will have them linked in the description box below. And with that being said, I'm just going to dive right along into it. As far as shadow work goes, typically people think that there's only three parts of you, which is the mind, the body, and the spirit. Okay. And that's typical. That's average. That's what most people think. And with that being said, I actually think that there is possibly four parts. And with that being said, I believe that it is the mind, body, spirit, and the shadow. A lot of people tend to want to forget the shadow because the shadow isn't, it doesn't really have like a good reputation, you know? Like when people think of like shadow work, you know, they think of like dark and like negative and stuff. And that is like actually the quite opposite. The whole purpose of shadow work is to heal your inner self. Therefore, that way you will be a better person in the future because you're not carrying those traumas with you. You're not carrying those hardships with you. You're not carrying things with you into adulthood or even things that may have even happened to you in adulthood that, you know, is still in the back of your head or like you just haven't quite forgotten about it because it just affected you that bad and that is okay. And that is really all shadow work is. It's just digging deep within yourself and healing yourself. And that's really what it is all about. And I feel like once more people will find the importance in that, I feel like this world will be a better place because people will heal. And that is ultimately what this is all about. It is all about healing yourself inside and out. And really pushing that forward to the rest of the world so that this world could potentially be a better place. With that being said, I'm going to go right along in to what I was talking about. Um, once you start doing the inner healing, you would definitely start to see changes. You know, um, like for example, if, if, if your parents were arguing around you a lot about money, you may have some sort of sense of like a security issue because you're just like, mm. like, you know, you've seen all this negativity around you growing up and like people don't realize but that stuff definitely does something to your kids when they see that stuff. It makes them think about things and it makes them look at things differently and like, you know, it just, it hits them in a whole nother area. Then when they become an adult, they become like over conscious with the money and they might not have good money management. Like, you know, it just... It's like a domino effect. So the best thing to just absolutely do is to just dig deep within yourself and heal yourself. That's one thing for sure is that nobody can heal you. That is something that is about self. A spiritual journey is all about self. You may lose friendships. You may, you know, lose some family members. Some family members might even fall off of you and stuff like that. And that is okay. That is okay to, you know, um, dead ties just dropping off. Like, that's okay. There's never nothing wrong with that. Change is not a bad thing. And once people realize that, I think there would be less worry. Along with that being said, you might think, you know, why would you want to focus on your shadow? Since it's such a bad time in your life and, like, all this here and in between time, like I was saying. For example, okay, so let's say we have this like diagram here okay so like up here is like our highest potential and then in the middle there's like a, 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 a common in the middle and with that it's kind of like just settling you know you're just settling and then down here would be like the lowest that you can possibly accept and most people fall in that below category because that's like comfortability that's like routine that's like you know no effort you know so with that being said you have to like remove the blocks and the blocks is basically where the shadow work comes in that's when you do the shadow works to remove you know the the trauma to remove like there's no point of carrying that with you because you are no longer that person that's one thing for sure like throughout your life like you're you're not the same four-year-old girl 
you're not the same 10 year old boy you're not the same 18 year old boy you know like you're you're just you're different there's different levels in your life that you reach and it changes you and that's what it's all about it's like we're all like caterpillars and like we're about to blossom into butterflies like each cycle we have we blossom into butterflies it's it's actually it's actually a beautiful thing because it reminds me of like shedding layers shedding layers of yourself because again this is all about self so you're shedding layers of yourself and and you're freeing it you're letting it go you're not carrying it around with you you're not holding it on your back anymore you're not doing that anymore you're you're facing it you're acknowledging it you're addressing it and you you're moving forward from it moving along with that what is the shadow some people may ask because like i said most people they do not know much about shadow work they just think that it is just like you know no good deed and all that here in the in between time and i think that is what a lot more people need in this world is that they need to do some sort of shadow work so that they can heal their inner demons and heal their inner traumas and all that and just typically just you know just become a better person we need we need better people out here in this world we really do like turning on the news you see all types of crazy things and stuff like that going on and it's just like damn like I feel like if people healed a little bit more within themselves like I think I think the world would be better off honestly but the shadow is basically situations that you didn't resolve like trauma like pain like certain situations and it still affects you as you grow up which is basically everything that I've been saying this this entire time and when we don't deal with things that we just keep suppressing it down and we just don't want to deal with it it's like a trash compressor like you know when when you push it down it doesn't just disappear it doesn't go away it just goes deeper it goes deeper inside of you and it just it, it's there it's not going anywhere so in order to remove it you have to address it you have to acknowledge it you have to know that it's there you suppressing it down trying to forget about it all that that's why it lingers that's why it's your shadow that's why when certain red flags pop up or certain situations and movements remind you of a situation that happened to you that didn't give you a good feeling and then that's when you start feeling some type of way and that is your shadow in order to heal from things that happen to you, you have to address it. You have to acknowledge it. You have to feel it. You have to. Ignoring it and suppressing it and all that, it's not going to make it go away. It's going to keep popping up. And, and the positive intent behind shadow work is learning your lesson. That's ultimately what, is it, what it is all about. Is learning your lesson if you don't learn your lesson the same situation is going to keep happening over and over again until you learn your lesson so with that being said this could even be problems that we didn't even know that we had that we didn't think affected us that deeply that's why you have to do a lot of soul searching within yourself and do a lot of digging and and really analyzing your life like really going down memory lane and really just trying to sit up there and just really from like the time you can remember clear up until now just think about your life and think about things that affected you and think about think about things that made you feel some type of way that now when you see somebody move that type of way or say something like that or whatever you look at them like hmm, i heard that before or I heard something like that before you know that's when that's when the shadow starts coming in the shadows like mm -hmm. yeah like you know what I'm saying so that's why it's very important to do your shadow work it's very it's very important and this is gonna go right along into the next thing that I'm gonna talk about which is the benefit of it and it's basically everything that I've been saying thus far um, digging deep within yourself and healing yourself I feel like it's the ultimate key to making this world a better place I've been saying it this entire video and I really challenge I want to just I want to challenge everybody everybody that watches this video I want to challenge you to dig deep within yourself and try to figure out one thing that you would like to address that has happened to you in your life and we can just start from there and I'm gonna piggyback off of this what I just said in this previous message so the benefit of shadow work 
is basically healing yourself inside and out. The positive intent with shadow work, for example, is let's say you had some abandonment issues, okay? So the positive intent of shadow work will be that this won't happen again. So in order for it to not keep repeating itself and going in the cycle and keep happening again, you have to address it. You have to acknowledge it. You have to let it know, I know you're here. Okay, enough of the, you know, enough of the extras and trying to forget about it. Address it. Let it, let, let it know that you're, you know, you, you know it's around. You know? And with that being said, once you realize the positive intent, you have to reframe it. And you have to basically bring it back to your present self. And acknowledge it so that you can just move forward with it. Like, you just want to just move forward. So, to conclude this video, I'm going to tell you the best shadow work techniques. And it's five, it's five steps. You can literally do this with yourself out loud, or you can do it in a journal. Either or, I'm, I'm more of a writing down type of person, so, you know, to each its own. So, the first step is basically what I just said to you guys. Find out what the issue is that you want to address. Find out what the issue is. First things first, find out what the issue is. The second step is once you find out what it is, invite it in for a conversation. That's that's part of you acknowledging it. You're inviting it in for a conversation. You're saying, come here, we need to have a talk. The third step is that you're going to start beginning a dialogue with it. You're going to start actually talking. You're going to start asking questions. Why are you doing this? What do you want from me? What is the positive intent behind this? And the fourth step is you listen to what's going on. And that's one thing for sure, two things for certain. Do not shame it. Don't sit there and say, why did this happen to me? I wish this didn't happen to me. Like, uh, like that's one thing for sure, two things for certain. Shadow work is a roller coaster. I hate to say it, but it's like the ugliest spirituality because it is going to make you feel things that you did suppress for so long and it's going to make you feel things that you don't want to feel like at that present moment but it's, it, it's, it's important to heal so it's important for you in that moment to feel it again so that you can address it and acknowledge it and move forward with it and then the final step is this is when it basically gets powerful because this is when you take your present self and yourself in that moment when this situation happened and you go back in time with your younger self and your present self. You comfort it. You let it you you let it know that you, that you're there for it and and you let it know that it's going to be okay. And you take their hand and you walk them back to this present moment in time. If that makes sense as if that's like the best I can like simplify it. And then once you do your inner work you will start seeing changes in your life because certain certain patterns and certain cycles aren't going to keep popping up certain things that were happening to you before wouldn't be happening to you now it is very important to meditate i encourage everybody to meditate two times a day at least 30 minutes a piece along with that being said i definitely encourage everybody to journal journaling is so important so therapeutic it's a good way to reflect it's a good way to, to jot down a to-do list things that you need to do stuff of that nature um i strongly encourage you guys to do them things and i really hope that you guys got something out of this video and that you can really apply this to your life um, I would definitely like to know what you guys thought of this video and I really would hope that this encourages you guys to do your own shadow work and dig deep within yourself so that we can help this world become a better place. I appreciate you guys for your time and tune back in next Thursday to see the next video that I will be posting.